Well, glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody stand and give God some praise today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody glad to be in the house of the Lord? Say this with me. Say, today is unlike any other day. Today is a day of miracles. Today, God is in the house. Say, the month of March is a miracle month. And God's power will be released in this house and in me. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Give the Lord another hand of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go to one person, shake their hand, and tell them you're glad that they're here to worship you and experience the presence of God today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Marla, pray the blessing of the Lord on this service today, and let's enter in today in Jesus' name. Lord, we just love you. We thank you for everything that you've done for us, God. And I ask that you just meet us in this place today, Lord. Your presence just fall in this place, Lord. And I ask that we come with unexpected knowledge of what you're going to do today, God. I ask that you bring the unexpected, Lord. You bring um, the miraculous, Lord. Whatever that we need in our life, God, you just bring those things into this house today. Lord, allow us to access them through your word. And God, I ask that you just direct and guide this service. Lord, just have your way in it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say glory. Turn it for good. You turn it. 
with me say nothing can separate us from the love of Christ nothing today is impossible with the God I serve today the Lord has plans for me look at somebody and say today the Lord has plans for you thank you for following your pastor and leadership and saying those things to one another how many of y'all is important that you follow the authorities in your life if we can't follow the authorities in our life we sure can't follow God amen hallelujah so I'm going to give you a chance again to say it. say today miracles are going to happen in my life now look at somebody and say today miracles are going to happen in your life hallelujah Saturday was silent, surely it was true. Since when is it possible ever stopped you? Yeah. Friday's disappointment, is Sunday's empty too. Since when is it possible ever stop you? This is the sound of dry bones rattling. This is the praise make a dead man rock again. Open the grave, I'm coming out. I'm gonna live, gonna live again. This is the sound of dry bones rattling. Pentecostal fire Stirring something new You're not gonna run out of miracles Anytime soon Resurrection power Runs in my veins too Yeah I believe there's another miracle Here in this room This is the sound of dry This is the great thing a dead man walk again. Open the grave, I'm coming out. I'm gonna live, gonna live again. This is the sound of dry bones rattling.
think it's funny? Glory. Pastor really wanted to sing this next song. Glory. Glory. And we picked, we picked these songs and I threw out Rattle. Had no clue that it went with this song. Glory. You know, and that, you just know that's the guiding of the Holy Spirit. Right. You know? Because yeah. we couldn't do anything without that guidance. Glory. You know, people want to sometimes take the credit for things that if, it, if God wasn't there, it wouldn't be possible. And so we need to give credit where credit's due. Just like this song says, sometimes we need things that we can't access ourselves. But first off, we've got to give it back to God. And we've got to remind ourselves of those things that he's done for us. I mean, if all it is is reminding yourself of your salvation. Or reminding yourself of the cross. That's what it comes down to. So remember, if you're in a time of need, something that you can't get yourself, Remind yourself where you're at and where you've come from, where you've been. Because if God can take you out of that, right? I'm sure he can do whatever you're in need of. So just be encouraged about that this morning. You're the same God today, and the same God tomorrow. Help me see the victory you already see. Let my faith be today, what it will be tomorrow. When I see the victory you already see. Oh, 
sing a song about healing this morning. Is there anybody in this room that needs healing this morning? Come on. How many knows that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever? He was healing back then, and he's healing now. And it's not us that does the healing. It's him that does it. You don't need nobody to lay hands on you this morning. When you begin to sing this song, you just believe the word of God that's being sung this morning. You believe for your healing, and you receive it. You say, Father, I receive everything you have for me. You paid a price for my healing. You bought it with your blood. And I claim it by the stripes so I am healed. By your bruises, my iniquities have been dealt with. And every part of me from the top of my head to the soles of my feet, in the innermost parts of me, the, the depression, everything is being healed this morning. I just believe in this morning, so y'all just believe with me. transgressions he was crushed for our sins the punishment that brought us peace was upon him and by his wounds and by his wounds we are here Hallelujah. he was pierced for our transgressions he was crushed for our sins. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds, and by his wounds we are healed. We are healed. In the life that you gave, we are healed for you paid the price. By your grace, we are saved. We are saved. He was peace for our transgressions. He was crushed for our sins. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds, and by his wounds, we are healed. He was fierce for our transgressions. He was crushed for our sins. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds, and by his wounds we are healed. We are healed by your sacrifice. In the life that Pay the price 
You were crushed for my sins. The punishment that brought me peace was upon you. And by your wounds, and by your wounds I am healed. Come on, sing it again. Confess it. You were pierced for my transgressions. You were crushed for my sins. The punishment that brought me peace was upon you. By your wounds, by your wounds I am healed. Glory. Hallelujah. Sing that line, Jacob. And by your wounds, by your wounds I am healed. God's doing something right now. Just keep singing that line. Let it go down in your spirit. Be 
crucify our flesh. We put ourselves under in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we choose to believe today. We choose to believe your word. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. We choose to believe. Hallelujah. If that's you today, whether your flesh feels like it or not, just say with me. Say, Lord, I choose to believe in the name of Jesus. I choose to believe the word of God. I choose to believe his promises in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God. Lord, your promises are yes. And amen. Hallelujah. Yes and amen. Say it with me, Lord. Say all the promises of God are for me. Yes and amen. Thank you, Lord, for the promises of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. We thank you, Lord. Praise your holy name. Praise your holy name. Praise. Just begin to worship him this morning. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. We thank you. We praise you, God, for your presence. We thank you, Lord, for your awesome nearness this morning. We thank you, God, for your goodness. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to worship their way out of their walls right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Just begin to worship. The walls are going to come down. You begin to worship this morning. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord, this morning. We praise you. We choose. We choose to make our flesh worship you today. Hallelujah. Oh, like David. David said, oh, oh, bless the Lord, oh, my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Lord, we give you glory this morning. We give you praise. Hallelujah. We've come to worship you, to lift you up. Hallelujah. There is none like you. Hallelujah. 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 We glorify you. Glorify you. Glorify you. Glorify you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, I want you to just proclaim a few things with me this morning. Just say, I refuse to stay in the normal this morning. Say this, there's nothing normal about this service. This is not just attending church today, but today we've come to have an encounter with the Lord God Almighty. Yeah. Believe that you want, you want his presence. Just lift your hands up one more time. Just say, Lord, breathe on me today. Breathe on me today. Breathe on me today. By your spirit, Lord, just breathe on us today. Bring forth, God, that which you have for us. By your spirit today, in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing shall be impossible to them that believe. Nothing shall be impossible to them that believe. Say it with me. Nothing shall be impossible to them that believe. If you believe, just tell them, I believe, Lord. I believe. I believe. Tell him again, I believe. Say it till you mean it. I believe, Lord. I believe. Say this, I believe. All things are possible to him that believe. So I believe today. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. Hallelujah. So today, the impossible becomes possible in Jesus' name. Father, Hallelujah. I thank you for what you've already got in the work, for already in the foundation before we ever got here today. I thank you for the presence of God 
Lord, that we entered into in our prayer meeting. I thank you that you've come not to just to, uh, uh, make a, a whisper to us today. You've come to make a bold statement in your presence. Jesus, when you went into a town, you stirred up things. I pray today, Lord, we would experience the stirring of you, Jesus. We pray that you'd stir some things up in the spirit today. We pray that you would change things today. We pray that you'd change the unchangeable that the world defines as unchangeable and possible. Today, in the name of Jesus, it becomes possible with you. Hallelujah. So we choose to believe you today. Hallelujah. We choose to believe. Because we believe you, all things are possible. We thank you, God. And God, forgive our unbelief. Help us to separate from it today. Hallelujah. And in the name of Jesus, we set ourselves in a mindset of faith today that we may receive all that you have for us in the name of Jesus. Come on, my I don't know, I just want to tell you today, if you've got an unbelief mindset, you, you need to disconnect from it today. Amen? Because God wants to challenge us today. God wants to bring some things into reality for us today. Amen? I, I, I pray and I hope you didn't come just to feel good about coming to church today. Amen. I, let's come. I hope yeah. you come to have a have an a encounter with God today. God wants to have an encounter with His people today. Amen. He wants to walk among us. He wants to touch us. He wants to reflect some change in our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Change on the outside. Now, how many of y'all know the change on the outside results when there's a change on the inside? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you want that, say, God, change me from the inside out. Hallelujah. Change me. There's not a one of us in here that doesn't need change to some degree. Amen. So would you open yourself up for the change of the Lord today? The power of God. Hallelujah. Change my mind. I disconnect it. It's my choice. I disconnect it from the things, the concerns, the cares of this world. And I connect my mind to that which your word has proclaimed. That you are God. And there is none like you. And I'm in the presence of Almighty God today. Nothing is too hard. For you. So I believe, God. I believe. How if you believe, tell it one more time. What I believe. I believe. You know what's happening in this moment of worship? God is setting some of you up. God is setting some of you up to pour something into you today. God is setting something up to just to shift some things in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of y'all want that today? Hallelujah. Say, God, I want that today. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And it's not about changing everybody else to help your situation. It's changing you. Amen. It's changing me. Say, God, I want to change. I want to change. Oh, God, I want to change. Hallelujah. Today, change me. Change me today. Oh, God, I thank you, God. Oh, I thank you, God, for your presence. I thank you for your presence. Hallelujah. So you just say it. Don't sing it. Just say it to me. Jesus. Be Jesus in me. No longer me, but thee. Resurrection power. Resurrection power. Fill me this hour. Jesus. Be Jesus in me. Hallelujah. Lord, let it be. Lord, let it be. Let it be. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just soak in it. Just a minute. Just soak in it. There's more going on here this morning than what you can comprehend with your mind or sense with your feelings. Amen. God's doing a spiritual work today. God's just laying a spiritual foundation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Glory God. Now listen. Keep playing to a joke. I like that. Hallelujah. Now listen. Hallelujah. The rest of y'all can go down. Hallelujah. I got up here and I proclaimed to you a few weeks ago that March would be an exceptional month. Church. 
In doing that, I had no idea uh, what God was bringing down the pike. Amen? But all I know is in my spirit, God is stirring. And I believe He is ready to show His mighty power. Amen? And what He can do among His people. You know things about your life that nobody else does. And guess what? God knows things about your life that you don't even know. Amen. 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 How many of y'all would like to know what God has to say about your life today? Hallelujah. And no matter what you think, listen to me, listen to me. No matter what you think you are weak in, it makes no difference whatsoever what you are weak in. What's weak is your flesh. And I'm not talking about living by the flesh. I'm talking about living by the Spirit. And we choose to live by the Spirit. Our weaknesses are destroyed by the power of God. Therefore, we can do what that can back there at the back door says. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can live victorious. I can control my temper. I can be at peace with my family. I can be healed. I can be healed. I can live in victory. I can go through with might and power. I can be in peace in the midst of a storm. And I can overcome every weakness. I can be free from alcohol. I can be free from drugs. I can be free from every addiction. I can be free from the addiction of pornography. I can be free from every addiction that the enemy would try to send down the pipe. Say this with me. I can be free from myself and to live unto God. Because through Him, I can do all things. As I said those things right there, some of you reeled in your mind the video played back of some of your failure moments before God. And I want you to know this morning that God says none of that disqualifies you from the move of God. None of that disqualifies you. For I brought you to a place this morning to touch you and to make all things new. In the name of Jesus, all things. Is anybody else sense that we're in, a, we're in a different presence of God this morning? We're in that atmosphere of faith this morning. Hallelujah. How many of y'all would choose to enter into that with me in the name of Jesus? Yeah. Say this, say, I'm in an atmosphere of faith. I decide to move with faith today in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Give the Lord a hand of praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, even as we, we go through the preliminaries here, just keeping an attitude of faith before the Lord, keeping a spirit of worship, if you will, and because I, I believe God has a great destiny for us to get to today. I want to just announce to you a couple of changes uh, that we're making uh, in regards to Wednesday nights. Amen. If you know, for a, a two and a half years now, we stepped into the Revelation study that we're, we've done. We've done it twice here at the church. We're on our third round uh, right now. And we have really, it was a verse by verse study. We really are picking it apart and, and getting down to the juice of that. And I, I thought, I, I believe that in this time, uh, that there would be a great gravitation to that word. Uh, with the exception of those who have really connected and been here, there's been a great fall off of interest. And I don't know if it's just because of that or God is just testing me as a pastor to say, will you follow me even if I stop you along the way of the plan? How many of y'all know Jesus sometimes stopped when he was on the way to something? I may have mentioned this Sunday to you. I know I mentioned it Wednesday, but Jesus was going to heal Jairus' daughter one time. Amen. Because he said, Master, will you come heal my daughter? I don't know if you just... Touch her, she'll be made on. I said, I sure will. He, so he's, he's headed to J.I.R. That's why he's headed to J.I.R. Everybody say, when he's on the way, he's going somewhere. Amen. While he's going to J.I.R.'s house, up through the crowd comes this lady with the issue of blood that said in her heart, If I know, I know. Everybody say, I know. I know if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. The Bible said that she'd suffered many things of many physicians. She'd been through the mill, not only in her disease, but in her treatment. Amen? Been through the mill. But she decided, 
this is impossible with man, but with God, it's not. If I could, I've heard of him. I know the miracles. I had heard about Jesus. So I know if I could just touch him, I could be healed. And as Jesus was walking to Jairus' house, the woman with the issue of blood came up and just touched his garment. And Jesus stood still. He said, Who touched me? The disciples said, Lord, everybody's touching you. The crowd is thronging on your eyes. He said, No. I, somebody touched me with faith because I felt virtue flow out of my body. How many of y'all know that our faith can stop Jesus? How many of y'all know our faith can stop and, and release something from Jesus? Jesus will stop on the way somewhere to stop and minister to a touch of faith. Amen. That lady was completely whole. He said, who touched me? She said, it was me, Lord. He said, daughter, go thy way. Thy faith has made me whole. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say this with me. Say, my faith Amen. can make me whole. My point now is to say this. I don't know if this is a direction of the Lord just to say, will you stop your plan to give room for my plan? Or whether it's an observation by the pastor to say the sheep need to be fed and there's not enough coming to the trough. But I want to tell you that Wednesday nights we're going to abandon the Revelation study. We're not abandoning it totally. I believe at some point we will come back on it and finish it out. And isn't it unique that God speaks this to me? This was not planned. It's just this week it started stirring. I told Donna what was in my heart. She concurred with it. Then we read something that was just out of nowhere that was total confirmation. How many of y'all know God gives you the word two or three witnesses to confirm a major move? Amen. So I know that this is a plan of God. Amen. So we determined to do this. Isn't it unique that, that this week happens when we just finished chapter 11, which is right in the middle of the Revelation study. So I believe we'll, we'll pick up the second half at some time. But God moved here Wednesday night. As we were in praise and worship, somebody came to the altar. Boy, it just released something in me when that happened. And, and thank you, Brother Kevin, for being obedient to the Spirit. You could have said no. Amen. Something was released, and I felt compelled to get everybody, and God began to move on a Wednesday night. And after church, two people came up to me and said, I got my healing tonight. I claim my healing in Jesus' name. And right there, right there, right there, God dropped it in my heart. Wednesday night is to be the night of healing here in this church for this month for sure. Amen. We're starting some new territory. I don't know where it's going to go. But I want to tell you that Wednesday night's going to be a healing night around here. What does that say? Am I trying to, to project and tell you what the Holy Ghost is going to do? Absolutely not. I'm not a manipulator of the Holy Ghost. But I know this. When God puts it in our heart to do something particular, I can just promise you this. We're going to pray for the sick every Wednesday night by faith. And we're going to see some people healed in the name of Jesus. Because Jesus has already started. Amen. So just know that's what we're doing on Wednesday if you know somebody's sick, get them here on Wednesday night. Amen? But guess what? Jan, we don't have to wait till Wednesday. I'll get to you later. Amen? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus is a healing Jesus. God is a healing God. Amen? And I just want to follow him. How about you? Oh, just worship him again when they call out my son, my body. Oh, by your spirit, by your presence. Come by by Lord, we can say. Your Lord, move on your people. Move on your people, Father God. Release that what you have for us. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen and amen. Glory to God. Will somebody say hallelujah? Hallelujah. So come. Don't miss these times. I have no idea. What if God shows up? fills this house with his glory. Revival breaks out at Rock Creek Church in China Spring, Texas. And people start driving all over the nation to get here. Is that impossible? The only limit God has is what we put on him. Amen? So let's let God be God starting today. Amen? Today's a new day. Amen? We're going to let God be God. Is anybody with me? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give him more glory. Hallelujah. 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 When it comes down to it, y'all.
praise is awesome. It's not about the praise. I love to preach, but it's not about my preaching. Amen. You know what it's about? Our intersection with God Almighty Himself. Yielding our hearts to Him and His presence. Making connection with the supernatural. Like Paul said, I came to you not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of the power of God. That your faith might not be in the wisdom of man, but in the power of God. How many of y'all are hungry to see the power of God release? Amen. Oh, we know the power of God. Amen. Power of God changed that man. Transformed his life. Power of God changed that man. Transformed his life. Power of God changed that man and that woman by the power of God. I could go. The power of God healed that man. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It's the power of God. God wants to be able to release his power. He has to have our hearts for how many of y'all want to truly give our hearts to the Lord and let Him live? If you're agreeing with that, say amen. Amen. And amen. Because I'll tell y'all, you folks, people in the world are not looking for the good church. They're looking for the power of something that is greater than the power of what's going on in the world. Hallelujah. I want to access the power of God. And His power only comes by His presence. So I long for His presence we can experience His power. Amen. Praise God. Will somebody say hallelujah? Amen. Well, I'll give you an opportunity to give to the Lord this morning. So get prepared to give. And thank you, ushers, for coming and allowing those to give this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Everybody say glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sweetheart, you got a calendar? You got a calendar on it? I'm just distracted by this. Look at April for me real quick. Which is, what is Easter Sunday? The 9th of April. Okay. Is there anything significant happening uh, on the calendar the next week? Bear with me. We're just talking to the family. Amen. I feel a very strong unction that on April the 16th, Jimmy Glotter, you're supposed to bring word to this house. Would you accept that, brother? Amen. Amen. I believe God can start preparing your heart for that. Amen. April 16th. Everybody say April 16th. One day after tax day. Amen. Jimmy Glotter's going to bring the word. Amen. And I look forward to seeing what God plants in your heart. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Out it down. Put it down. You don't want to miss that day. Amen. Glory to God. I'm going to go the Spirit of God's leading right now. By His Spirit. Amen. By His Spirit. Amen. Y'all ready to give? Amen. Amen. Take a giving out. Amen. Let's, let's speak this tonight, today, today. Amen. Say, Father, I thank you. For everything you have blessed me with, everything I have is because you've given it to me. So, Lord, I give this a portion, a seed of what you put into my hands. Oh, God, you deserve it. You deserve everything I have. So thank you for giving me seed. And you've given it to me because you said you'd give seed to the soul. And you knew I'd give out of it. So I give today in faith, planting it in the house of God. And there's anointing on this seed. I attach my faith and my cheerfulness, my expectation to this as I plant it in the house of God, in the kingdom of God. And I know you will bring forth great fruit and a great harvest from this seed. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on and give as the Lord has enabled you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Just stand up one more time. I believe we need, just need to proclaim victory for a minute. Give me a key of G. Hallelujah. Sing it with me with all that you have. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Oh, victory today is mine. For I told Satan to get thee behind. Oh, victory today is mine. Oh, victory is mine. Oh, victory is mine. Victory today is mine For I told Satan to get thee behind Victory today is mine Oh, and love is mine Oh, love is mine Oh, love today is mine For I told Satan to get thee behind
That's what he's telling us. If we are willing and obedient. If things aren't happening good in your life, maybe you're not being willing and obedient. And you know, when I get up here, I get up here and God sometimes I feel like has me to speak such direct things, but I think it's because he has to speak it to me. And what, what comes out is what goes in. And God tells us if we are willing and obedient, we shall eat the good of the land. And everybody loves that scripture. I love it. <laughs> if we are willing and obedient and we say, oh, yes, God, I'm willing, I'm willing. But are we really? And are we, we really obeying? You know, if we're not being willing, you know, I, I know if, if y'all had kids, most y'all have. When you tell them to do something, you've got some that they just do it. They just do it. Then you got some that they're willing, but they don't quite follow through with it. Neither one of them are good. And I don't mean that ugly. I'm just being honest. You need to be willing and obedient. Because when we're willing, we're loving. We're being loved and we're loving. And when we're obedient, we know what's coming after it. When we're obedient, I mean, I, I'm sure some of you kids sitting out there, I, my, my daughter's grown, but she knows when she was willing and obedient, she got blessed. And sometimes when she just did what she was supposed to with a sarcastic attitude, you know, said, good job, but she didn't really get a blessing for it, you know. And uh, I, I know that from experience, me being a child, I was the same way I could I could do what my mama told me because I knew if I didn't, I was going to get a spanking, but I really wasn't willing. And if we are willing and obedient, we should eat the good of the land. But then the next scripture says, but if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured by the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. You know, God's word can work for you, or it, it can bring good for you, or it can bring bad to you. And who determines that? We determine it. Right. We determine it. If we read his word and we follow it and we do what it says, we're going to have so many blessings. Yeah. And if we read his word and we ignore it, and we go on about our busy lives, acting like it doesn't make any big deal, as long as we're smiling and acting happy, that everything's going to be okay. But it's not. Because God's word said you have to be willing and obedient. God bless y'all. Hallelujah. How many of y'all know that's the truth? Amen. Anybody believe that's the truth? Yes. Amen. And I want, let me tell you something. You know that you say, well, that's easier said than done. You're right. Because you know what the whole thing hinges on? Willing. It means somebody's will has to die so that his will can be done. Amen. Are you willing? to crucify your desires and let him live through you. I was eat up with the scripture this morning. I had everybody pray, our workers in the prayer room, to speak it out this morning. And it's this, I am crucified with Christ, yet I live. Nevertheless, it's not I that live, but Christ that lives within me. And the life that I now live, I, in the flesh, I live by the faith of of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen. How many of y'all know it all comes down to crucifying the flesh so that we can receive from God? What a great word, sweetheart. Amen. Give her a hand one more time. Give the Lord a hand. Amen. I just feel somebody out there. Amen. Somebody out there. And, and uh, Kevin, I, 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 I'm i going to ask you and Kay, if you would, to just to uh, uh, standing in faith, uh, uh, give thanks to God for his touch on you Wednesday night. Would y'all do that? Okay, if you'd go first and, and just uh, uh, just express uh, in faith what God's done for you. Amen. Y'all can't hear it, can you? Kay's got one of them sweet, soft voices. Amen. Hallelujah. Everybody say, in faith. She's about to testify. Amen. 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 Oh, I have been a 
approval mm. for the last eight years. Mm. Uh, my body just started, started falling apart about eight years ago. And uh, my back's just gone crazy because of what I did for a living for many years. And I've been in pain for a lot of years. Mm -hmm. uh, Pastor Mark and Donna prayed for me. My time flies, so I don't know if it's a week ago or two weeks ago. On a Wednesday night. And I received God's healing. Actually, it's been before that. On the Sunday morning, I came forward. Amen. And it's just, I, I know God's working. Amen. They prayed for me again. And I said, the Lord said, you know, just quit taking your pain pills. Mm -hmm. Tylenols and mm -hmm. my heavier stuff. So I just quit. And I still had a little pain, but not any more than I had when I was taking them. Mm -hmm. you know? So, and then last Wednesday night, I was sitting here, and he just played in my spirit. He's going to straighten me my crooked mm, back. Mm. And I'm receiving it. Amen. And I know God is willing. Yes. And I'm receiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody say, thank you, Lord, for healing God. Kevin, you mind come in and just share with me, brother, and just out of your heart like you did with me Wednesday. I'm a diabetic, uh, self-induced, obviously. Uh, I've had some pains in my chest for a while. Uh, fears taking over. Yeah. Um, been to the doctor once a year. It's more than I But uh, I've just uh, given it to God. I'm healed. Amen. described to me and what you dealt with about coming to the altar on Wednesday. So, God spoke to me, the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Tell me, honey, don't fear. Mm -hmm. And I said, go put her on the altar. Mm -hmm. And I fought that. Mm -hmm. And he told me, he said, look, I can heal you, but you can't deal for me. Mm -hmm. Praise God, hallelujah. And I can tell you, he did. He came and knelt before the Lord. Amen. And God used that. God used that obedience to touch others that night. You see, you, what God does for you is not just about you. Amen. It releases stuff in others. Man, I look at, I just scan this auditorium and I, I, saw, I know some of the victories in y'all's lives. You know what it does? It builds my faith. Amen? That God loves me. He can do that for me too. Amen? How many of y'all are glad? How many of y'all have ever experienced a victory from the yeah. Lord? Just raise your hand. Hallelujah. Some of y'all, it was a victory just get to church this morning. Would somebody say amen? But you won. Amen? Some of you had excuses. Good excuses. You almost talked yourself into. Thank you for not listening to that. Amen? Because I guarantee you, God was not trying to convince you to stay out of church this morning. Amen. You listen to God. You put yourself in a position here this morning, so I just praise God for that. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Isn't God good and faithful? Hallelujah! Good oh, glory. Well, this has been different already. Amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So I'll just flow with me here. Get up one more time. Let's praise God one more time. Lift your hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we love you. We praise you. We glorify you. We extend ourselves to you one more time. And we give you thanks and praise for your faithfulness and your goodness and for your mercy, for your love, God. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing and what you're going to continue to do this day in Jesus' name. And everybody say amen. 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 Grab your Bible since you're standing anyway. Amen. Hallelujah. Anybody in here love the Word of God? Amen. Boy, I sure do. Turn over with me to 1 John chapter 4. 1 John chapter 4. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I just, I just speak to you that this month, God's going to birth some new things for Rock Creek Church. Amen. You know what that means? He's going to birth them for you. I use the term birth because that means things that were not here in the tangible before is about to be tangible. Oh, you may have been expected with it. You may have had a bump of it. Amen. Your pregnant mamas know what I'm talking about. Amen. But it ain't like getting birthed and that thing being physically there with you. God's about to bring some things physically into being for you. Amen. You receive that. Amen. Amen. First John chapter 4, verse 17. Herein is our love made perfect. How many of y'all know love is the principal thing? Amen. Wisdom is the principal thing when we learn of God. But God is love. It's all about love. Amen. When Jesus was asked the greatest commandments, he said, Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. And he said, The second is like the first. Amen. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Everybody say it's all about love. Amen. So it says, herein is our love perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. How many of y'all want to have boldness and not fear when you stand before God on the day of judgment? Amen. Amen. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Here it is. Because as He is, so are we in this world. As He is, so are we in this world. Say that with me. As he is, so are we in this world. Father, I thank you today for your word. I thank you, word is true, and I thank you for what you're seeing in your people today. I pray that you would just release this by your spirit, have your way today. Let it become alive in our spirit, man. And we give you the glory and praise and thanks for it all in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. You may be seated. The title of my message today is, As He Is, So Are We in This World. How many of y'all know there's a body of Christ? There's a reason we're called the body of Christ. He is the head. We are the body. And the head cannot feed itself. If I had a bowl of chips and hot sauce right there. <laughs> I can think it. I have direction to eat it, but I can't get it to my mouth unless I eat like a dog, and that's sloppy. Amen? What does it? My hand. My feet walk or drive me to trace your model. <laughs> or wherever you're faith. And then my hands reach for the chips, and I feed myself. My body has to come in line with what my mind has determined to do. He's the head. We are the body. We're not just here to exist in a life and, and hope God gets us through so that we can survive and make it to heaven. This life is not about survival. This life is about being embodied by the Lord Jesus Christ that we can be His arms. We can be His feet. We can be the extension of what He was when He walked on the earth and now He's gone to glory. He dwells in us by His Holy Spirit that we can be an extension of who He is. It says it's, we are supposed to heal the sick, raise the dead, be, be, proclaim the goodness of God in the days of the living. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen. How many of y'all think that we are qualified to do this if it says, as he is, so are we in this world. Amen. We don't think of ourselves this way. Why? Because the devil shows up every day convincing us why we're disqualified. Amen. 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 But my Bible says that God has qualified me. Amen. For whom he did foreknow. In other words, he knew before what he had put as a plan in your life. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate. Listen. Then he also called. Then he also called. Then he also justified. That means you're qualified. And whom he justified, then he also glorified. In other words, God puts his power on it. Amen. But we have Amen. to realize we're supposed to be after the firstborn, which is Jesus. And we are sons and daughters of the Most High, too, if we have said yes to Jesus. 
and his spirit dwells within us. So you are more than qualified. Amen. 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 You are more than qualified. And there's nothing the devil can do to destroy you. Amen. 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 Let me remind you. Let me remind you. The only power Satan has against you is the power of persuasion. Amen. Amen. We have to give him that right. It's what happened in the garden. It's still happening today. And every day we have to make a decision to be led by the Spirit of God or not. As he is, so are we Hallelujah. in this world. Everybody say, I am, I am. like Jesus. I can do all things. What am I trying to do? Yeah, I'm trying to cheer. I'm trying to have a pep rally. Yeah, I'm cheering you up. I'm trying to pimp you up. Amen. Hallelujah. If we could get a bunch of ladies up here with pom-toms and get you there, I'd do that. Whatever it took. But I want to tell you what. What it takes is you believe in the Word of God and believe in what God said, that what He did on earth, you can do. And He said, when we all do it together as the body of Christ, greater works than He did will we do. Glory to God. I don't know about you, but man, I don't want to be a part of that. Now that can only happen if we believe what the Word of God says. I can overcome every attack upon my body, my mind, and my spirit. And let me just say this. We'll jump over here into the, this, this deep category for just a second. Everything. Oh, Jesus. Said that, okay. Well, everything that is happening in your body and your mind started by attack on your spirit yes. because we are spirit we possess a body amen or we live in a body we possess a soul soul mind will and intellect amen, amen. and the enemy is out to destroy you you think you and i'm not saying you brought on everything in your body some things we do and how many y'all know when we have attacks in our life the first thing we ought to do is look in the mirror Amen. If you ain't got a mirror, pull out your cell phone. Put it on, flip around the photo deal. You can see yourself. Amen. And how many of y'all know? I'm not talking about a natural picture. Here's the mirror. Word of God is a mirror. We, I got something going on that ain't pleasant. God, what's going on? Is Amen. it me? Is it me? Is it me? Be like David. See, there's not enough of us crying out like David. Oh, God, search my heart. See if there be any wicked way within me. And forgive me, Lord. I repent. See, there's not enough repentance happening in the house of God today. Let it begin in the house of the Lord. We was praying this morning under the unction of the Spirit. And we, we was reminded that, uh, that, that if, you, uh, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. We blame all the nation's problem on everybody else. But God says, if you want the nation healed, if my people, which are called by my name, shall pray. It's on us. It's on us. We got to pray. We got to seek the face of the Lord. And we simply got to believe God. Amen. And it ain't hard. We can do it. We just got to get back to getting rid of the smoke screen that the enemy gives all the time and believe what the Word of God is telling us. Amen. 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 We can be like Jesus as He is. Everybody say, as He is. So are we in this world. Hallelujah. Now listen, go to go to read go across the page and we'll read a couple more scriptures here. I rebuke you, Satan, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. They were trying to mess with my iPad. In Jesus' name. There we go. See? Even my iPads have to have to surrender to the power of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, there you go. I rebuke you, devil. Get out of my iPad in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. There we go. See, devil, you're a liar. Jesus. Man. Go over there. Sorry, I had to visit my iPad just a minute. Amen. <laughs> you know our, our friend uh, uh, Lloyd Lane? No, not Lloyd. Ted. I think I said this last week. I'm going to say it again. Ted Currington. Y'all remember he was here last year at our, our campfire conference? Not this year, but the year before. He said something to me the other, a couple of weeks ago. He just stuck with me. He said, he said, Brother Mark, our problems have ears. Amen? Our problems have ears. We need to speak to our problems. Amen? If Jesus speak to a fig tree, how many of y'all know we can speak to our problems? And they have to listen. 
Now you can speak to them and tell them how, how all the damage they're doing to you. Or you can speak to them and tell them how that they have no power over you because the power of God is upon you. Amen. And you have the promises of his word over you. Would somebody say amen? amen. And amen. Hallelujah. So we need to speak to our problems sometime, even if it's an iPad. Go to 1 John chapter 5. Look at the verses 3 through 5. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. In other words, it's not, it shouldn't be a grievous thing to do the will of God. And look, if it was grievous to you to come to church today, oh, I've got to go to church, your heart's not right. Sorry to just hit you with that, but that's the truth. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Search your heart if that's the case. Amen? It's not a grievous thing to serve God. Amen? For the, this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. For whatsoever, here's the key, for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. Somebody say amen. amen. Go to verses 14 and 15, that same chapter. It says, and this is the confidence. How many of y'all want to have confidence in him? This is the confidence we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have desired of him. Would somebody say amen and amen? amen. Glory to God. A lot of power in those verses. Now listen, it says back over to, to chapter 4, verse 17. As he is, so are we in this world. Notice it says as he is, not as he was. Amen. 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 Jesus came in the flesh. Amen. How many of y'all know he's not in the flesh anymore? Oh yeah, he has a body, but the appearance of the baby in the manger and the appearance of Jesus being slain on the cross as a sacrificed lamb is not the picture we have of him now. John paints a picture. Eyes of fire, amen? Feet like brass, hair like wool. He is almighty God in every sense of the word, amen? amen. Now we can't get to Jesus or be like him, or be as he is in this world now if we don't first go to the cross. Amen. We can only get there by way of the cross. Would somebody say amen? Amen. 1 Corinthians 1 and 8 says, For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of God. We can't go anywhere in Christ without going to the cross first. There should always be the preaching of the cross. Would somebody say amen? Amen. But I want you to listen to the description of Jesus before the cross. Listen to the description as he became the Lamb of God for us. Go with me over to Isaiah chapter 53. Oh, what a great chapter. Isaiah 53. When you get there, say amen. Isaiah 53. It's right before Isaiah 51. Amen. Are y'all there? Amen. Actually, I was wrong. It's right before Isaiah 52. <laughs> See, I got flaws. Amen. I, I can count. Amen. Amen. It's like I see, I won't say his name, but I seen this famous entertainer uh, on TV. If I said his name, he's, he's done past now, but, but uh, I, he's just living in rebellion, man. And they asked him, they said, he said, well, where did you learn your music? He said, oh, oh Mr. Mr. Avalda, Mr. Griffin was my music teacher, and he used to hit me with that, with that ruler. And he said, he said, you know, school taught us that two and two, two plus two equals four. How do we know that? Maybe two plus one equals three. I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, that's a rebellious mindset. Amen. You can't just accept the truth. How many of y'all know that we are not always right just because we feel it's right? Amen. Amen. We've got to come in line with the truth of God's Word. Amen. And we got there. Why? Because Jesus is willing to come and do what He did and be what He needed to be, the Lamb of God. Listen to this. In, in uh, Isaiah 53, starting in verse 3, it says, This is a description of Jesus, y'all. Jesus, before the cross. He is despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrow. Acquainted with grief, and we hid, as it were, our faces from him. 
he was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs. Hallelujah. Now it tells us why. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. And we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. Do you see the, the description of Jesus there as he became the Lamb of God? Amen? Amen? But that is not who he is. Yes, he's still the Lamb of God, but he is not full of grief and sorrow and afflicted by men anymore. Anybody agree Amen. with me? In fact, when Amen. he comes back, Revelation 19, it says he has, he has a, a vesture on his chest and on his thigh. And he comes in the power and fierceness of Almighty God. He comes back as King of kings, Lord of lords, and the victor. What I'm saying is God is not said as he was in the world. It says as he is in the world, so are we. We are to be victorious. We are to walk in triumph. We are to walk in His power because He has overcome the world because He was willing to become the sacrifice for us. I'm not acquainted with grief and sorrow. I'm not being godly when something happens and I get full of grief and sorrow. Oh yeah, I need to pour out my heart to the Lord. I need to bow before Him. I need to let Him break me, but I'm not about to let the world break me. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I don't have to. I, I'm not about to let somebody, other person break me. In, for, in fact, Romans 12, uh, 8 goes on to say, after that, that about qualifying us, it goes on to say, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long, we are counted as sleep for the sheep of the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, listen, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I don't care who did you wrong and what they said. Don't let them separate you from love. They are another creature of God, and it is up to you to grab a hold and gravitate to the love of God and the power of God. With that knowledge, you can do anything. Because as He is, so are we in the world. He is, as He is, everybody say it's who He is. Who is he now? The lion oh, of the tribe of Judah. Amen. He is feet like brass, eyes like fire. He defeated the devil at the cross. He's our savior, our healer, our prince of peace, the mighty God, the king of kings, the Lord of lords, the ultimate overcomer. And as he is, so are we in this world. Amen. Overcome. 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 Who is the overcomers? Go back to 1 John again. Let me tell you who the overcomers are. Verse 4 of chapter 5 again. It says, For who whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. Who are those that overcome the world? Those that are born of God. Amen. First of all, you have to be born again. You have to give your heart to Jesus. Amen? Amen. You have to lay down your life for Him. Say, Lord, You are God. There's none like You. Come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. You're the only way to heaven. Only way to the Father. So come in my heart. When we do that with a pure heart, what happens? We become born again. In other words, the Spirit is birthed within us. Our Spirit connects with His Spirit. And we become alive as Spirit men and women. Amen? And we're alive in the Spirit. Before you got saved, you were spiritually dead. I've said it before and said it again. I've done a lot of funerals in my life. A whole lot. And in every funeral setting, almost probably every one, there's been dead people and living people in the room. Amen. And in most cases, the one in the coffin is not one of the dead people. Amen. I define life as those who have been born of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Y'all hearing what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Get out of our natural mindset. And into our spiritual mindset. Who overcomes? Those that are born of God. 
Why? Because we already quoted it. God predestined you. He conformed you to the image of his son. He's going to bring forth. He justified you. And because of that, he glorified you. As he is, so are we in the world. Oh, let me say this scripture again. I already said it once. Let me say it again. Galatians 2 and 20. I am crucified with Christ. Hallelujah. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ that liveth in me. And the life that I now live. Everybody say now. now. The life that I now live in the flesh. I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Now I can live by the faith of Jesus. Jeremy, you want to live by Jeremy's faith. You get to live by Jesus' faith. Because you're born of the Spirit. Amen. Aren't you glad of that? I don't have to work up, oh God, give me enough faith to pray for them. God said, just believe my word. I give it. When you're convinced of what I've already given you, then you'll be able to go forth and do exploits. Amen. Let me tell you what, what you want. The devil's whole deal in every one of y'all that have received Jesus as Lord, there is enough power in you to save and heal everybody in our community. Amen. But the devil wants to suppress it, convince us, sit on our shoulder. Amen. Tell us we're no good for our families. Try to get you to kill yourself. Try to get you to do crazy things. Try to convince you that you're a hindrance. And the fact of the matter is some of you are the Savior reaching out to their family and you're the only hope your family has. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Look, we're not ignorant of the devices of the devil. Will, the, will, the, will God try to convince us to end it all? No. Amen. Let me just say this here right now. There may be somebody watching by Facebook or YouTube. Let me just say this. That is not God telling you to end your life. That is the devil. Let me just say that. Remember that. God will never show up and tell you to end your natural life. He's coming to tell you to give your life to Christ so that you can have new life in Jesus' name. Because in Jesus, we have purpose. Amen. In Jesus, we were able to live as he was in this earth. Are y'all still with me? Go to Colossians chapter 1 real quick. Colossians chapter 1. After Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell me when you get there. Colossians 1, read verses 25 through 29. It says, Whereof am I made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God? Even the mystery which hath been hid from the ages and now and, and from, from generations and now is made manifest to saints. Would you like to know what the mystery that was hid from generations is that is now revealed in us? Are you ready? Amen. To whom God would make known what is the riches of his glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is, here it goes, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Hallelujah. Christ in you. As he is, so are we in this world. Amen? Whom we preach, warning every man. What am I doing a lot of times I'm preaching? I'm doing some warning. Warning. Amen? And teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Whereunto I also labor, striving according to his working, which worketh how? In me mightily. Paul's saying, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to speak to you so you'll be challenged in your mind to get close to Jesus. And I'm going to do it because Christ is in me and he does it in me. How? Mightily. That's not Paul being arrogant. That's Paul realizing that he has Christ Amen. in him. And because of that, nothing can be impossible. Amen. Nothing is impossible to you. What am I trying to tell you people of Rock Creek Church? I don't care how you feel. I don't care how much you have in your bank account. I don't care what weapons and things are going against you right now. I'm telling you that Jesus is within you. If you received him, if you're seeking him, if you're, if, you're, if you're desiring to live for him, he is with you and the power of God is within you to overcome every situation and for you to give that and, and disperse that, that resurrection power to everyone you come in contact with. Hallelujah. Say this, it's not just about me. It's about him. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go to Ephesians chapter 1. Turn back a few pages. Ephesians chapter 1, hallelujah, verses 17 through 23. If you want to, if you want to, me as a preacher to tell you what you ought to pray every day over yourself, pray this. Ephesians chapter 1, verses 17 through 23. 
that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and knowledge of him, that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches and the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to where? Usward. Exceeding great in power where? To usward. Who believe according to the working of his mighty power which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set at his own right hand in the heavenly places far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in the world that is to come and have put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to who? Church. The church, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. God gave it to us, y'all. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go over to Luke chapter 10. Y'all don't mind if I preach the word today, do you? Hope you brought your Bible. I'm working this thing down. We're almost getting down to the nitty gritty here. Luke chapter 10. Amen. When you get there, when you get there say, Ren 10 10. <laughs> Hallelujah. Luke chapter 10, verses 17 through 20. Listen, how many of y'all know Jesus sent out his 12 and he said, You go, you heal the sick, you raise the dead, you cast out devils in my name. They come back and say, oh, Jesus, it worked, it worked. Then Jesus sent out 70, amen, 70 of his disciples, amen. And listen to what happens here in verse 17 of Luke 10. It says, and the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. And he's saying, Jesus said he don't have his place anymore. He is in a defeated place. In fact, let me just iterate something right here. Most of the devil's power he got from us in the garden. Amen. Amen. We picture Satan as this big evil force that comes to devour. We've got to just get enough of God to guard him. Oh, we're giving the devil way too much credit. Not that he was not an angelic being, but he was cast out of heaven. I know that he was given a place here on earth, but let me tell you what. He had really no power over us until we gave up our authority that God gave us to live out in the flesh and have dominion over the earth. And when we sinned, we gave that dominion to the enemy, and that's why he's called the Corinthians the God of this world. Amen? So let me tell you what. Satan does not have power over you in yourself. Yes, he may be more powerful. But I want to tell you, if you're born again, if you have God in you, greater is he that is in you Amen. than he that is in the world. We should right. not be afraid of the devil. We are not afraid of the imps. Recognize what they are. They have no authority in our life Amen. to stay there in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Is anybody with me? Oh, I love this. Jesus goes on to say, Behold, I give unto you. Everybody say, he's talking to me. I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Did you hear that? Over all the power of the enemy. Did you hear that? Over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you. Jesus is saying, hey, that's not what to get excited about because the devils have to obey you. That's just secondary. Oh, we put that on the scale way up here. That, oh, one day, one day maybe, maybe I can resist the devil. That's minute. He said, don't rejoice because the devils are subject to you. Jesus is basically saying in my own words, that ain't nothing. Because I already gave you dominion over that. Amen? Amen. He said, notwithstanding in this, rejoice not that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we all glad you have been given a heavenly estate and a promise that the devil can never access again? He is defeated. His imps are defeated. They are under our feet. Why? Because we are in Jesus and they are under Jesus' feet. Would somebody say amen? amen. That verse has two powers in it. Behold, I give you power. That first power means authority. Amen. The second power means dunamis. In other words, the, the actual power to perform miracles. But you can't release the power to perform miracles unless the authority has been not been given to you. Amen? Why do I pull my car over when the highway patrol gets behind me with his lights going? I may be bigger and badder than that old boy that's going to step out of there. He may have a gun. I may have a gun too. Amen? But you know what he has? 
the authority Amen. to use the power. Yeah. Amen? And I'm not just dealing with that man. That's right. Because that badge he wears represents a lot more badges and a lot more guns <laughs> and a lot more authority. So I don't submit just to compare the power. I have to submit to the authority. Amen. Let me just say this too. Pastors don't have all the answers. But unless people can come into a church somewhere and get under the authority of a pastor somewhere and flow with that authority and not rebel against that authority, they will never grow. They will become goats bump it against or they will become wolves and they will gravitate to those that are weak so that they can come to them for direction. Beware of the wolves. Beware of the goats. They're in every sheepfold. Oh, I want to be a sheep. I have to come under authority. Listen about authority. Y'all remember the man, the centurion that came to Jesus and he said, Jesus, I have a servant that's sick. Would you heal him? Jesus said, I certainly will because the disciples said, man, this, this man, he's a centurion, but, but he has done many things for Jewish people. He built a synagogue, everything else. Jesus said, I'll come, I'll come and heal your servant. He said, no, no, Jesus. He said this. He said, he said, I'm not worthy that you'd come to my house. But he said, you just speak the word and it shall be done. He said, because I'm a man, listen to this. Oh, here's the key. That is in and under authority. Amen. I have soldiers under me. I have people over me. And I, when I speak, they have to do what I tell them to do. What was he saying? Jesus, I recognize your authority. So all you have to do is speak the word. You know what Jesus did? Whoa. He looked at his disciples and said, boys, let me tell you something. I don't know if he said it this way. This is just the way I picked it. Boys, let me tell you something. I have not, this is a Roman soldier, y'all. He said, I have not seen this kind of faith in all of Israel. Because he realized the spoken word of Jesus. He said, I'm a man in and under authority. We're talking about the authority that Jesus gave you to walk in. But you cannot exercise that authority unless you come under his authority. Amen. In and under. Everybody say, in and under. In and under. Do you think we don't need to do that if Jesus did it? Listen, Jesus, Amen. the Son of God, do y'all remember what he said? He came to earth and said, I can do nothing unless the Father does it. I can do nothing unless the Father does it. He said, I only do what I see the Father do. Jesus, the Son of God, in the flesh, was under authority. Therefore, he walked in authority. I'm giving you some gold mines of information this morning if you'll hear what I'm saying. And the authority we're about to release in this place in a few minutes for you that have needs is because we come under the authority of God and his word. We submit to that authority. Therefore, we can walk in that authority and receive all that that authority has gained for us. Would somebody say amen and amen? Listen, that badge means that guy is a part of the police force. I want to be in the force of God. I want to bring forth the force of God's power in this earth. Amen. We can. We realize as he is, so are we in the earth. The only way we can be that way is to be under his authority. Jesus restored our authority to operate in the earth as we was originally supposed to. But also, his power is present to be in us right now. Jesus operated in the earth like that, and so should we. Amen? Amen. So how does in and out of authority work? Let me just end with this. Listen, this is the key right here. You don't have to turn there. James 4, 6 through 8. You can make a note and read it later. Most of you know most of it. But let me read it to you. God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Here we go. Y'all ready? Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands. Isn't it interesting that when Jesus told us, submit yourself, therefore, God, resist the devil, and then what's the next instruction? Cleanse your hands, 
you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. What am I telling you? There's two sides of this coin. The submitting and the resisting. We all want to resist the devil when he shows up with attacks. But we can't resist unless we first submit. Hallelujah. Amen. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. So the first thing we got to do is what? Repent and submit. Come under authority. How often do I have to do that? Every day I breathe. Mm. Amen. Amen. If something hits me in the face. If I'm attacked, God, is there anything I need to repent of? God, speak to my heart. Search me, God. Lord, let me come under your authority right now. Show me anything. Some of you, you may be going through things that God's been telling you and telling you and telling you and dealing with you about that matter, but you want to just hold on to it and say that God understands it. If it's in this word, you better come under submission to it if you want victory over the other thing. Amen. Oh, we got quiet in this Holy Ghost church. Amen. We must repent and submit. Amen. Amen. The second thing after we submit is we resist the devil. Amen. And he will flee. Amen. We operate in our authority when we come under God's authority. As he is, Amen. so are we in this world. I want to remind you today that we have power to bind and to loose. Amen? And so I want to release that in this place today. Jacob, would you mind coming up and playing a little bit? Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want you just to begin to enter into that presence that we've, we've experienced in this house already this morning. Just begin to lift your hands and, and worship Him this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. We love you this morning, Father. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the power of God. We thank you for that which, God, you are here to release, God, through us, Lord, your servants. And we thank you for the power of God. We thank you, Lord, that the devil was stripped of his authority. And we thank you, Father God, that you have given us the path to victory right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. We give you glory. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, for your goodness and for your love and for your mercy and for the power that is available, the power to save, the power to heal, the power to be free in you. We just thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, that we're anointed, God, to loose forth that which is of you today. And we just give you glory. We give you thanks. We give you praise. I want you to say a few things with me. You say, God is within me. The power of God resides in me. The power to bind and loose has been delegated to me on earth. Listen. God, don't ask God to come resist the devil. He told you to do it. Amen? Say, God, we, we spend so much time at, listen to me. Yes, we need to pray. But we spend so much time asking God, heal the sick, heal the sick. You know what God said? You go heal the sick. Amen? I'm going to lay my hands on Jan this morning. Amen? I am nothing, Jan. I'm, I'm me and you are equal in the eyes of God. We're sons and daughters, most high God. If you don't know, and just to tell you where the state is, so that you'll know the victory we're about to experience. Amen. Jan having some issues went in. They, they confirmed that it's cancerous. Amen. Thank God it's a treatable sign. But I want to tell you the treatment starts here today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Nothing wrong with going through the natural process. And I'm not coming against that. But I'm telling you that in the name of Jesus, it can not only start today. It can be done today. Amen. Does anybody believe that? Yeah. Why am I saying that? This is not arrogant. I'm just choosing to believe what God said about me today. And I hope you believe it about you. Jan, when I lay my hands on you in a few minutes, it's just like Jesus laying his hands on you. And it's not because I'm anything special. It's because he, he just told us, as he is, so are we in this world. So are we in this world. I'm believing, Jan Winnicky, heal today in the mighty name of Jesus. Would anybody dare to believe that with me today? Amen. Come here, Jan. Don, if you can. Listen, listen. Oh, where'd he go? I got a couple of questions.
else is just the same. Okay? Have you accepted the Lord as your Savior? Now let me ask you another question. Do you think this thing you're dealing with this, with, with right now in your body, do you think it came from the devil? It did not come from God. Absolutely. So just emphatically, you agree it came from the devil, right? Amen? I'm not asking if you brought it on. I'm asking, did it come from the devil? Yes. Every sickness. Can I just stop and say, say this? And I said it lightly while ago. Let me just say this. Sickness and disease, period, came from the enemy because it's the destruction of the flesh, not because God, uh, the enemy's whole agenda is to kill our body. No, he wants us to have problems in the flesh, so we, we will deny God in the spirit. Amen? So all, all sickness and disease come under one umbrella. Man, man started diagnosing it and saying this and put together, oh, it must be this. And we started giving it names. Cancer, diabetes, lupus. We started giving it an identity. When God, I believe, wants us to recognize the only identity we need to realize is that we're in Christ and this is evidence of the devil. Amen? Now I have to ask you something else. Man. It is not for you to answer out loud. It's for you to ponder. Amen? You need to ask yourself, have I truly submitted myself to the Lord Jesus Christ? Not that he, well, he has to be saved. And everyone I pray for today, amen. So everything, and if there's anything, God, if there's anything in his word that you have not submitted to, you have the opportunity to do that right now. Say, God, I just give that to you. I will trust your word and not the direction of man or even the direction of my own feelings. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. 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 So you know what that tells me? This is nothing. Absolutely. That is nothing but the dirty trick of the devil. Amen. Amen. Now look, if I'm up here praying for somebody with lung cancer, amen. I'm just a bad example. And I'm asking if they've submitted everything to God. Now look, if they're a four pack a day smoker and they're still puffing through four packs a day, how many of y'all know? We can believe in faith. Amen. But if they don't submit that thing to the Lord and come under subjection, that thing can come back. Amen. I'm not talking about you right now. I'm just telling everybody right now. So we've got to submit everything. When we get in a place like Janice, what do we do? We examine ourselves. We look into the Word. I believe you've done that. Amen. I believe you have. And you're submitting it to the Lord. So therefore, you know what, Jen? We're going to lay hands upon you. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we proclaim you are healed today in the name of Jesus. I need some saints that are full of God who will just pray in the Spirit behind her. Come on, get up in here right now. Come on, get behind her right now in the name of Jesus. This is going to be for the glory of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we lay our hands upon her. Hallelujah. We proclaim she is healed today in the name of Jesus. There's power in the name. Listen, I talked about the authority. Do you know what the authority is? It is the name of Jesus. Through the name of Jesus, the power is released today. So in the name of Jesus, we just release that healing right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you right now for the authority. And as you are, Jesus, as you are right now, so are we. So are we in this earth. Donna, put your hand right there on your stomach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jan, as I lay my hand upon you, hallelujah, it is just like Jesus touching you. Hallelujah. And in the name of Jesus, we declare you healed. Father, heal. Oh, my soul. She is healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed, Jan. Be healed in Jesus' name. Receive your healing. I rebuke every spirit of sickness and disease. We command it off her body. We command it to lose its grip and get out of here. In the name of Jesus, we speak wholeness. We speak recovery. We speak everything in the name of Jesus that she be made whole completely. Lord, I'm saturated in the power of God. Lord, I'm a soul in the name of God. We declare Jan is healed. We declare Jan is healed. Father, we 
we thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We call our body every bit home. We rebuke you, Satan. We resist you. We command us, O Spirit, of sickness and disease, this old infirmity. Go! In Jesus' name. Leave this body in the name of Jesus. We pray your power would be confirmed in the name of Jesus. Lord, and we release this. We thank you for it. How, now thank you for doing it. How, Lord, we just thank you. Lord, we praise you. We glorify you. We thank you. Now look, let's stop right here. Because there's others I believe we need to pray for this morning. First thing, though, we need to put everything under submission to the Lord Jesus Christ. So I'm going to ask everybody in here to join me in just a prayer of commitment to the Lord again. If you're not where you need to be with God, guess what? You got the opportunity to do so right now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So would everybody pray with me earnestly to the Lord. Let's make things right before God right now. Amen. Let's submit to Him and His Lordship. Amen. So would y'all just pray this out loud with me? Father in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, Thank you, Lord for loving me. God, I submit my life to you right now. Jesus, you are Lord. What you say goes. Forgive me, Lord, of every failure, of every sin, of everything that I have fell short of your glory. And I receive the anointing, the infilling of the Spirit right now to be empowered to live a life victorious over sin. No sickness, no disease, no sin will have dominion over my life. Lord, I ask you, cleanse me as I submit to you now that I can walk in your power and authority in this life. Thank you, Lord, for cleansing me, washing me, making me whole today in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. You're standing in faith. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I just have to lay my hand on you and proclaim your healing today with you again. Is that all right? Come by by in the name of Jesus. We command the attack of the enemy that's come against God. You go. In Jesus' name. We command you in the name of Jesus. You leave her alone. This is a daughter of the most high God. And you are illegally there. So we command you now. We thank you, Lord. Every fringe of attack, every leftover that the enemy would plan to try to leave, it is removed now in Jesus' name. And we thank you, God, for it. We thank you about the power of God. It is released. Complete wholeness. Complete recovery. Lord, they say, it's past. In the name of Jesus. It's past. Lord, they just say, it's past. In Jesus' name. Lord, and I say, I'm going to walk in it. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. How many of y'all know that in a short time we're going to see that Dorothy bouncing around here like she used to all the time? With energy. Amen. With joy. Amen. With all she has, all the, the life of God in her. It's coming forth in the name of Jesus. Treat. Glory to God. Yes. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Go to the bus. So good and big and high. Yes, God. Go to the bus. Oh, we claim the victory, Lord. We claim the victory. We claim the victory. Go to the bus. So good and big and high. Yes, Father. Go to the bus. So good and big and high. Oh, finish the work, God. 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 Patricia. I know you just stand in faith. I know you just I ain't even asking you how things are because I know if there's anything going on, your response is going to be on him. God likes that. Amen. God likes that. Amen. But so, if Jesus is in you telling you that, I just want to stand here as another part of Jesus with you and we're going to lay our hand on you. Amen. And we're going to assure this thing that it is chased out in Jesus' name. Amen. It chased out. If a skunk showed up at your house, would Kevin do something about it? Yes, he would. He'd get that stinker out of there. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, this stinker has stayed around too long. Amen. So it's gone in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. God, I want you to anoint her. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Come on. 
Alan, just pray the prayer of faith over her right now, God. Come by Barodo Mosome. Yeba, Anda da Boko. Yera da Saba Bakore Mekeda. In the name of Jesus. Come by Bahara Masuda. Yeba Basona da Boko. Raba Sode Rebeke. Yo Baba Kore de de Masata. Oh Baba Sode Beke Raka da Basora Bakata. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Go. 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 You have no right. Go. In Jesus' name. Go. In the name of Jesus. Go. They said, Baba, go to the Kedana. Two things. You know what they are. Two things. Amen. Two things. It ends right here, right now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God's going to like pour like an oil over you. Amen. Like a pour, uh, like an extra layer over you. In the name of Jesus. How many of y'all will believe uh, with me? Amen. For Pastor Donna this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus. Come by. I proclaim my wife is healed. This is your daughter. Hallelujah. And every little nagging attack that the enemy tries to bring up, these two things today, we call them done. They have no right in Jesus' name. We speak strength. We speak peace. We speak health. A reinforcement, Father. Bring the reinforcement of your spirit. Reinforcement of your power. We speak life right now. We rebuke your attacks and we command you to go. And I thank you for that, what you're doing in the body right now. Oh, Lord, you're reinforcing strength in every way. Oh, no weakness. No weakness. But, but God's strength will be the result. Strength will be the result. Power will be the result. Hallelujah. She will see it in the natural because you've done it in the spirit. We thank you in the name of Jesus. It is done. It is done. In Jesus' name. Anybody else need healing? Anybody else need healing? Get up here real quick. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You need healing, Jay? Praise God. Hallelujah. Anybody need healing? You need healing, faith? Amen. Your knees? Oh, God's going to really have fun healing your knees. Amen. Glory to God. He's really going to have fun healing you. Amen. Hallelujah. It's got to go in Jesus' name. I'm going to ask you what I ask you. Do you think that's from God? No. It's from the devil. Amen. So we're going to give it back. It has no right to be there. You are a daughter of the Most High God. Amen. And that has no, no issue to it. Amen. You're going to be strong. You're going to move. Amen. Hallelujah. You're good. You're going to move. Just because you're a calf roper's cap rope, cap rope wife doesn't mean that you have knee pain. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. You're going to have new knees in Jesus' name. Amen. Everybody say new. Oh, Rabaka. Right now, Lord, restore. Lord, right now, restore in the name of Jesus. Lord, we loose forth your power, your mind can be healed. Needs be healed. We speak to you. Be healed in the name of Jesus. We pray for new cartilage, new muscle, new everything. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke this pain. We rebuke this attack in the name of Jesus. We resist it. And we thank you for healing that is loose forth for, for super faith right now in Jesus' name. Lord, I'm outside. We proclaim. Everybody say, Sister Faith's knees are healed in Jesus' name. Now walk with me, Faith. Come and walk with me. We got to put words to our faith. Amen. Do a little high stepping if you can. In the name of by faith. Amen. By faith in the name of Jesus. By faith in the name of Jesus. Amen. You remember that guy that got healed at the gate? Beautiful. Amen. Peter didn't let him just sit there. He grabbed his hand. And he said, get up in the name of Jesus. And he went leaping and, and, and worshiping God in the temple. Let's walk again. Amen. Everybody say, she's healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. She's healed. Amen. Hallelujah. We're in heaven's band together. We're high-stepping. Amen. Amen. Let's high-step for God. Amen. Everybody say, she's healed in Jesus' name. Oh, God, I'm so good with that. Now, look. If that pain tries to show up again, you say, you're a liar now. Well, Jesus needs to get out of here. That's extending what your prayer has to be. They would say, oh God, please see what's hurt. And God, he, he touches the heart of his children. But I'll tell you, you have authority. As Christ is, is, is so are you, Miss Earth. Amen. So you just kick that thing out in Jesus' name. 
literally kick that thing out. Amen. Glory to God. You're healed. In Jesus' name. How many of y'all are thankful for the healing power of God? Jesus had sickness in his body when he, when he hung up on that tree and he took all of our sickness. He bore our griefs and sorrows. He took our sickness. He bore our sickness so that we could be delivered. We could be healed in the name of Jesus. So, Jill, I'm telling you, you're healed in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands and receive it right now. Father, in the name of Jesus. Robo Sunda We resist you, Satan. We command this infection to be gone out of this body in the authority of the name of Jesus. All heaven is touching this body down. We command it to be gone. We thank you for health and wholeness and healing that is coming into this body. And we thank you, God, and for your love, for your awesome anointing and power that is being released right now. We thank you that this matter is done. It is on the way out in the name of Jesus. And we thank you that it is done by the power of God. Hallelujah. Just begin to thank you for your healing, Jill. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We thank the Lord. We thank the Lord. We thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Now look, when y'all start getting good reports and feeling a lot better, don't tell them, Pastor prayed for me. I'm glad you feel that way. Amen. Don't say, Pastor. Say, Jesus touched me. Amen. Jesus touched me. Because that's what really did the touching today. He's just using all of us. Amen. He's doing the healing. Amen. You're healed, Jill, in Jesus' name. You're healed, Jan, in Jesus' name. Amen. Allie, I don't know how long the doctor will take to figure it out, but you're healed. Amen. Amen. Anybody else physically? Real quick. Anybody else? Praise God. Okay, I've got a couple of things I need to do before we go. Is it all right? Amen. Jeremy, come here, brother. Amen. Cody. Cody, can I pray for you? Oh, there was one more I was supposed to pray for, and they're not, they left. Don't y'all just start saying this. Amen. Just start saying this. Say it. His thoughts. Start saying his thoughts are my thoughts. Amen. His thoughts are my thoughts. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Amen. Y'all are sharp guys. Amen. Sharp guys. You're so smart. You got to church this morning. <laughs> Amen. Man, there is so much, so much more God has for y'all. Amen. Cody, I want to tell you, God is very well pleased with you at the direction you've been stepping toward Him. Amen? Don't stop. Amen? Let Him finish what He's begun in you. Amen? Hallelujah. Jeremy, just keep stepping. It still may be cloudy. Keep stepping in Him by faith. Amen? No matter if you see two steps, just see the one you see. Take the one you see. Amen? You did that this morning. Amen? And I thank you for that. Amen? God's going to help you. He's going to bring clarity. The more steps you take by faith, the more that you're going to be able to see. Ah. Amen. And look, it may not be the path you thought it was going to be. Amen. But I guarantee you one thing. You follow his leadership, oh man, he's going to bring you to a place of victory. To a place, let me tell you, Jim, let me tell you. There was a place in my life one time, the road didn't work out like I thought it would. Amen. Thought I was strong enough to make that road work. Amen. Oh, but if I'd only known what God had for me. Amen. And when I followed his road, oh, the place I wound up, I'd have never wound up on the other road. Amen. So God knows you. He knows what you need. He's going to lead you there. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So I'm to lay my hand on y'all. Amen. Just like people were healed. Amen. Direction is released for you today. The Lord is there for you today. Amen. Y'all receive that? Amen. In Jesus' name. I want some men up here with me. Amen. Surround these guys. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, man of God. Man of God. Come my son and they keep my daughter. Kevin, come here. I need you to Jimmy's back there. He can hear Hallelujah. Father, I thank you, Lord, for these men. And I thank you that there's power in the name of Jesus. I thank you that, Lord, as I lay my hand upon them today, every demonic force that has tried to disrail them has to go in the name of Jesus. Satan, you have no authority here in the name of Jesus. So in the name of Jesus, we proclaim their thoughts are ordered. We proclaim their steps will be ordered. And Lord, step by step, they will begin to step in you and see the glories of God. Touch my brother, Father. In the name of Jesus, release your power. Release your help to Cody right now. And I thank you. I come against every spirit of confusion, every lying spirit, every limiting spirit. We command you off in the name of Jesus. You have no right. And I thank you for the peace of God. I thank you for the peace of God that leadeth to all understanding. Lord, that goes beyond our understanding and gives the peace of God that passes it and keeps our hearts and minds. Lord, we thank you, God. The power of God is His today. The help of the Most High is His. And Lord, we thank you, Lord. The enemy is defeated in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for ordering Jeremy's thoughts and steps. Cool. Let me say bye bye. Right now. Hallelujah. Right now in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the spirit of, of confusion in any way. And I thank you for the ordering of thoughts and steps. I praise you, Lord God, for the obedience he's taking right now, the initiative he's taking right now. And I pray, Lord, that it would develop into more to be seen, more to be seen, more to be seen. Loose forth that which you have. And I rebuke every spirit of the enemy, every lying spirit. You have no place here. It will not be heard here anymore. And I thank you for the liberty, the victory, the deliverance, God, and the things that you want to break away. And I thank you, Father God, for the help of God that is released right now. I thank you for the victory and the power. In Jesus' name, go to us. Amen. If y'all receive that, just say, I receive that. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I mean, I know God's good. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, I feel a release. Amen. So we're going to stop right here. Amen. How many of y'all know that, how many of y'all believe that God is beginning something? Amen. God is beginning something fresh. God is beginning, and if it's a real move of God, it will not be restricted to our services. Amen. I believe you will come back every service with testimonies about the power of God and what He's doing. Confirmations of healing. I'm expecting it. Amen. Because I know what Jesus does when He touches people. Amen. And as He is, so are we in this world. Go touch somebody with Jesus this week. Amen. Do you love Him? Stand up and give Him thanks for more time. Glory to God. We love you, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord, for being with us today. We thank you for moving in our midst. God, we thank you. I pray that you just take us forth from here now. Lead us, God, into what you have for us. Father, I pray that you anoint us to be a witness now. Lord, to compel them to come in on these Wednesday nights so that we can see more healed. More come in and by the power of God, you will heal them and set them free in every area of their life. So, Father, God, we just lend ourselves to you. Order our thoughts and steps that we be used of you. We pray you pour out your glory upon this house. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done today. And I thank you that it's the beginning of what you have for us. We just give you glory for it. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody say it. Amen and amen and amen. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Say this, say I leave this place today covered in the blood, empowered by the word, anointed by the Holy Ghost, and fully able to carry Jesus to everyone outside these doors. Amen. God bless y'all. Thank you for being in the house of the Lord today. Y'all go in the Lord. Be blessed. We'll see you hopefully on Wednesday and on Sunday. God bless you. Praise God. Thank you.